Hi guys, welcome back to another Geeky Review. This time we are going to go through some vehicles. We're going to go through the Landshark and the Roton today. So we're going to start off with the Landshark though. So just try and bring this box up a bit closer for you. Let me adjust this. So the box art for the Landshark. So here we have Skeletor, riding it along. In the background we have the Snake Mountain. And then if you can just about see their trapdoor and also Clawful. There is some dirty big lizard there at the front. On the side you've got like two goblin-y demon type of things going on there. And on the other side, there's another little like demon, little pink one now. And on the back, again for the art itself, you've got Skeletor slap bang in the middle there on the land shark, and you've got um, Fisto, and also uh, Man at Arms. On the opposite side, you have Stinkor. Triclops and again another like little dragon demon thing going on <clears throat> Instead of having cross cells like the action figures You've got a big picture of Castle Grayskull And then a series of figures that was probably released the same year as well There nice big scan of them so this box has obviously came from abroad, abroad, so it's not a UK version. So if we just crack this one open. The vehicles all come secured in the box with these little gadgets here but it's got this like little lazy band on I don't know why this would be on here does it remove I'm just going to have to Can anyone say what? Tell me why this lazy band is just randomly stuck on these things. You're probably saying, Joe, you're doing it all wrong. to bite that bloody thing off okay so what have we got we've got little grey like Gatling guns on the side of each one these don't look as though they remove you've got the big jaw of the land shark there little tiny yellow eyes but these teeth they're not hard plastic they are like rubber so they're quite bendable and flexible in the cockpit you've got a little dashboard sticker now that was already stuck on which is always good and then you've got two little gaps there for the figure for the figure's feet and on the back you've also got the thrusters type of stickers <clears throat> so 
what I'll just bring Skeletor in here so bend him by his legs slide him down and in So they've got little handles here where you can attach the figure onto, I'm assuming. They look a bit too far away. No. Yes, they are. Yeah. They are a bit too far away for the figure. But when you are moving this land shark on the surface the jaw moves up and down whether you're pushing it forward or pushing it back so it's on two little trap tyres at the front and two at the back if we move on to the Roton and start off with the box art so from the top there you've got Skeletor again and underneath the cliff edge you've got what seems to be Cobra Khan and a little cheeky type of lizard going on there on the side you've got just a little snapshot of the hopefully fingers crossed upcoming Eternia and you've got He-Man there on the ground ripper and on the other side you've got Screech the back artwork you have just got Skeletor again on the Roton without the the cover and in the back there you have got the um, the Talon Fighter and also Stratos You've also got some of the cross cells there on how to attach the the gun turrets, the, the roofing and there is also a front piece cover as well and also the figures that came out when this was released. The Rotan itself got two little beady red eyes at the front. These little gun turrets do pop out, just slide back in. It also has two little handles there for your action figures and all the stickers have come already applied on the vehicle which is good. Comes on three wheels at the bottom. Notice it comes with an actual stand and I know you can buy certain stands on Etsy as well to display this so it can stand up off the floor. Shame it didn't come with one already as usually some of the other vehicles that do fly actually come with opposable stands but this one doesn't. On the back it's got two little peg holes and on the front it's got two little peg holes. So this is for the new roof casing for this vehicle. So it just slots in. It's uh, It can be quite fiddly because it's a bit flexible as well. So but there you go. Um, as you push it front, forward or backwards makes the little clicking noise 
and these little red things spin round. Bit of annoying sound, but there you go. <laughs> It also comes with a separate front piece. So this one has uh, painted teeth in this. And again, it is just two tiny little peg holes there. It just plugs in. So you can have a variation on the front of the vehicle. I'll just get the trusty Skeletor in here. Fits very well, holds onto the little handles. Let's try the, the roof part. Come on, beast man, you boob! <laughs> Again, thanks for checking in, guys, on this one. Drop us a like, drop us a sub, do all the usual stuff. You can actually follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and also Twitter, in all the usual type of platforms. Just uh, searching for Joe's Geeky Reviews. But yeah, drop us a comment. What do you think of this new style version of the Roton? Now I'll catch you next week. Thanks again for dropping in, guys. See you soon.